Welcome back to Political Science class. Session number one of the day and the three of this week. And one more class is at today, 4.30. Okay, expecting each and every one to attend that class. Okay, we will, right? Yes or no? Some people are there, some students are the morning session, they will attend the evening session, they won't attend. Hmm? So don't skip the classes. So please keep that idea in your mind. You should attend the class. Okay, so I told you to read and understand what is going on in uh, Lakhimpur, Gheri, Uttar Pradesh, right? The news reports. Okay, Hi. observe that. What is going on there? Okay, we'll ask, I'll ask that later. Hi. And uh, uh, we discussed one news in the last class, remembering that the petrol price that it decreased into Tamil Nadu, I mean, decreased Tamil Nadu into 64 rupees or something. Again, that news is basically circulated in almost all the social medias there. But there is no authenticity. Okay, so that day itself, that, the news that was discussed, that day itself, a correction uh, that came in the media is there. Okay, it is a fake news, right? Basically, okay, so the Tamil Nadu government is reduced the tax just for uh, three to four rupees, I think so. Okay, not that much money, I mean, 34 rupees or uh, 40 rupees, just to three, four rupees. So the difference is uh, three to four rupees compared with the Kerala's uh, petrol price, right? So just to keep that in your mind. Okay, so social media is. There are numerous news that will uh, roam around, okay, in which some news, maybe you can say this is fake news, then we have to find out the uh, reality, authenticity, okay. So some other news channels also you have to observe that, so I am, I came with the correction here, okay, so please keep that in your mind, okay. So tell me about Russian, what do you have to Samuel? Uh, uh, near uh, my home, uh, one, uh, uh, one situation happened. Oh, what about, what about that? Uh, yesterday, uh, uh, one son of uh, two, their doctors, two doctors, one hmm. son uh, told to the servant that he will uh, slap at uh, the face of a servant. Hmm. And uh, she complained to the police station if, uh, if uh, he, his age is uh, 17 years old. If police hmm. can ask him, that servant complained to the police station. So actually, is there any crime happened there? This is just a verbal abuse, right? Ah, yes. Told if you have to, any problem. Ah, told to slap, right? In Malayalam, he told that Ninda Mohan the Kina Okay, so that's a <laughs> so <laughs> is that you, Mr. Ramal Version? <laughs> that that servant complained to the uh, uh, circle in uh, office of the Kodan Ah, circle office Kodan right? So uh, listen carefully. So verbal abuse sometimes is against a woman. It's considering as a offense. Okay, verbal abuse. Okay, but the age matters. Okay, clear or not? But then also maybe that will lead to a warning or something like that. I think so. And there is no other issues there because it is a verbal abuse, right? Okay, and it is not recorded, so there is no uh, what we can say uh, that as available to prove that happened actually. But today's world, we know that uh, women, uh, they have protected or they have number of rights again, okay. clear or not. So uh, they can utilize those things there and they can give the complaint. They have to encourage that only they can take a decision. We don't have that right to discuss and take a decision now. These are the situations at all, okay. So situations here, okay, related to the circumstances, they can take any decision, but it is not a criminal offense, basically speaking, so, okay, clear or not, so verbal abuse, considering as an offense, okay, but some relaxations will be there because the age of the person is 17, right, he was just 17 years old, right? okay, so not an adult, okay, so, Amal uh, Roshan, please observe what happened there and inform me later, okay, <laughs> Some of the keen interest to understand these kind of things there. Okay, let it be. So, who is missing here now? Mr. Kevin Koisi, class leader. Okay, okay, class leader is busy with some other activities, I think, so today. Anyway, we will start our uh, chapters, right? Our discussion. So, listen carefully. So, there is a information uh, from the principal and the coordinator to related with your uh, syllabus for the examination. Syllabus for the examination. I mean, the first terminal examination, clear or not? Okay, so I already uploaded six chapters for you people, and uh, there's some reduction in that. Okay, I'm reducing that into three. Okay, so now the 
uh, syllabus from i mean the topics that we covered in the month of september and october that two three chapters are what are those chapters in idea hmm? in idea tell me please three chapters that what we finished in these two months so rights rights a uh, local government local government sir and then does this chapter count pardon sir this chapter definitely this is legislature legislature okay i fix this is three chapters okay so not down these are the three chapters for the examination okay not down any anyway, i will upload that what about the local self government that also completed right so after rights it is local self government i think so right okay so can go for these three chapters local self government okay local self government i down local self government legislature legislature sir i am currently attending a sanjay so i don't have my books right now currently i am attending a sanjay and sanjay okay then like no books with my... you no pen no pen no book no okay pen. just the stomach okay up <laughs> here okay fine okay anyway <clears throat> so just i will upload that in the class group okay don't worry mr abira evening please check that okay so we will see one uh, these three chapters what are they it is the legislature okay then local self government and what is the third chapter amal roshan amal roshan what self care no development okay okay development local self government and legislature are the three chapters for the examination okay clear then uh, you wrote one class test also for the local self government i think right sir so class test completed for local, local self government so what to do can we add rights again <laughs> tell me so one tested already right so can we add that this one with your consent only okay so local self government one test completed so can we add rights okay so please correct it okay rights rights development and legislature rights development and legislature okay so rights sir development and the legislature are the three chapters for the uh, term test time one test only three chapters okay please correct that rights rights legislature legislature and and development ah that's it anush okay development rights sir legislature and development of the three chapters for the first terminal examination there is no doubt in that clear because local self government already tested so i am excluding that chapter this the three chapters we can go uh, we will go for the or we can use for the uh, test plan. okay so a small discussion of this same chapter legislature almost all the things are uh, discussed in the earlier classes okay from the chapter legislature we discussed about the legislature what are the two houses of the indian legislature what the importance of the parliament okay the powers of the rajya sabha powers of the lok sabha election process okay then we discussed about uh, the controlling power how the legislature is able to control the executive exactly or not the measures and how a bill will to be bill into a law okay the process okay the procedure law making procedure so such kind of things we already discussed we will go for a short recapitulation of all those things there okay if any doubt means you can ask me again because this chapter is important for the first terminal examination first time examination and the first time examination okay uh, again tell you that uh, it is almost a omr examination clear only mcqs will be there clear mcq test it's an mcq examination okay 45 questions will be there 45 questions will be there okay out of that 45 you should answer 40 questions clear 40 questions each question carry one mark clear i mean each answers is correct answers carry one mark clear or not so total 45 questions we can you people are free to leave five questions there any five questions clear okay any five questions you can leave 
and you should answer for 40 questions 40 questions each correct answer carries one mark okay, so 40 marks 40 marks that's the pattern okay so question paper standard and questions are there you know standard questions directly from the book clear or not clear or not directly from the textbook such kind of questions are there gk two three questions will be there gk general knowledge okay so still today i not received that answers answer for the question with the present present the speaker of the Lok Sabha and deputy speaker not yet received the answers from you people so such kind of questions will be there okay general knowledge two three questions will be there right standard on questions then passage based questions will be there passage clear okay passage based questions are there cartoon based questions will be there okay based on a picture based on a cartoon or a caricature based questions will be there okay then clear Assertion and the reason. Assertion and the reason. Like that, five to six questions will be there. Clear? Okay, so this is the pattern. Standard questions are there. All MCQ only, clear or not? The passage also. For the questions, you will get the options here. Okay, so from the option, you can choose. Passage based questions or source based questions are there. Clear. Next one, what is that? Assertion and reason type questions will be there. Caricature or cartoon based question. I mean, picture based question. Total 45 in number. 45 in a number. Question paper will be divided into three sections. The A, B, C. A, B, C. Clear? Understand? Then uh, general instruction will be there. You want to read the general instruction carefully. And as per that, you should act. OMR sheet is a compulsory. OMR sheet is compulsory. Clear or not? Our subject code is 20. Sorry. 028. Okay. Clear or not? Don't forget that. So please write that. Okay. Clear? There is no doubt in that. Okay. So... Please keep these ideas in your mind there. So underscore the maximum mark. Okay, ten table. You have the ten table with you, right? The syllabus also you know now. Anyway, I will upload that in the class group too. Okay, please observe it clearly. And today onwards, you have to start your revision. Any doubts are there? You can ask me directly. The class or you can call me or WhatsApp. Okay. Now we are going for the short revision or recapture session of the same chapter. Legislature. Legislature. Any doubt is there? Please you can ask. Okay. Next first question. Why do we need a parliament? Why do we need a parliament? We already discussed that. Okay, what is that? What is that? Amelotion, please explain. Okay, points are there for you. Okay, please analyze and interpret this. Uh, uh, legislature means uh, yeah. it's a lawmaking process. Hmm. Hmm. Legislation. Okay, then. It's the main uh, source of uh, law. <laughs> Legislature is the main source of law because that body is the lawmaking body. Lawmaking ah, yes. body, yes, of course. Okay, you can see that the first point. Lawmaking is the main function of the legislature. Okay, the main function of the legislature. There are numerous other functions also are there. Clear? Numerous other functions also are there. Okay, so lawmaking is the primary function and it's an important function for the legislature. Clear? Law making, law making. Okay, then it is the main source of law of any country with a constitution. Clear or not? With a uh, basically a democratic country, uh, it is the main source of law. What is that? The legislature. It is representative form of democracy. Sorry, in representative form of democracies, the legislature helps the people in holding the representative accountable. So, what do you mean with the term accountability? Accountability. Hmm? Legislature make the representatives accountable. Means, what is this accountability? What is this term means basically? Sanam Jos. To hold account for means. To be responsible. Hold what? To be held responsible. Ah, responsible. Clear or not? Okay. Each uh, member or each representative, basically, we know that they are from different constituencies of the country. The representatives are responsible for the people in the constituency, right? Clear. At the same time, the uh, legislate, sorry, the executive, I mean the ministers, including the prime minister, they are responsible for the legislature, right? They cannot take any decision of their own. Okay, so they are responsible to the legislature. Okay. In a representative form of democracy, the legislature have the people to holding the representatives accountable. So the people, so the representatives are accountable to the people and the executive is accountable to the legislature. Okay. In a parliamentary form of government, the legislature controls the cabinet. Okay, already we studied that. There's a power, there's a power 
uh, for legislature to control the executive right so measures also we discussed yesterday okay what techniques the uh, legislature used to or what are the different techniques the legislature basically using to control the executive we discussed yesterday what are they any idea please tell me please tell me what are they quick quick fast sir deliberation and discussion ah uh, deliberation and discussion uh, refuse approval or refusal of laws ah uh, approve or refuse okay approval or or refusal <coughs> refusal of a law okay then i mean a bill then no con non conference motion no conference motion then one more uh, financial control ah uh, financial controls also are there right fine so these are the four techniques or four measures that are basically using by the legislature to control the executive control the executive so we need a parliament we need a legislature clear okay next one the parliament is the open forum of debate so related with the law making we studied that almost all the discussions are in the parliament right okay a bill a proposal that will undergo various processes and which is a very important process is the debate clear or not both houses both houses will uh, have a debate on that particular topic or particular bill there it is the most representative of all organs of the government so there are three organs for the government what are they what are they basri girish what are the three organs of the government basri girish what are the three organs of the government no answers from basri are you facing any technical issue no answers amal roshan executive legislative and judiciary ah basri says some connected issues with her okay legislature executive and judiciary so in which legislature is the most representative of uh, i mean number of representatives are there in that organ right or not okay comparing with executive and the judiciary basically from the people the parliament is vested with the power of power to choose and dismiss the governments and the legislature of the parliament has the power to choose the government at the same time dismiss the government so out of the no conference motion we know that right okay it can choose the government at the same time dismiss the government above all it is the center of all democratic and political process in a democratic country okay clear so legislature or the parliament is considered as the center of all democratic and political process clear all democratic and uh, political process almost all the uh, electoral politics is basically related with the legislature or the parliament only right almost all the political parties are trying to hold the power in the government through number of representatives clear okay so it is the main center main center of uh, democratic and political process in india or not only in india almost all the democratic countries okay and there are different types of legislatures are there we know that different techniques different countries are using different methods okay what are they you can see first of all there are two types one is unicameral legislature the other one is a bicameral legislature tell me sanam jos what are the differences between this unicameral legislature and the bicameral legislature answer is here ah yes so we, a ah, legislator so we, having two ah, houses is called ah, bicameral legislator example uh, india usa Ah, in the USA. So tell me, what are the houses there? Uh, two house. Um, uh, for example, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. For example, what are the example? Tell me first. And in India, Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. Ah, Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. And in America? Ah, uh, don't know, right? Demo. Uh, sorry, Republican. Ah, Republican Democrats. That two political parties. No, no, no. So no, that's parties. Ah, uh, it's called the Senate and the Congress. Ah, sir, don't know. Don't know. Okay, then find it out. Okay, then tell me in the next class. Okay, next one. Okay, so this is the difference. Bicameral means there are two houses. Two houses. So in there we know that two houses are there. What are they? It is the Lok Sabha, the lower house, and the Rajya Sabha, the upper house. Right? Yes or no? Is that correct or not? Yes, sir. Upper house and lower house. Right. Okay. Next one. Unicameral legislation. Unicameral legislation means only one house is there. One house is there. 
a legislature having only one house is called a unicameral legislature. Example, United Kingdom, right? Okay, UK is an example for that. Unicameral legislature. So tell me, what is the importance of this bicameral legislature? Bicameral legislature. Anyone? Importance or speciality of this bicameral legislature. Or any plus points are there which you can tell me. Bicameral legislature. What is that? Anyone? Uh, bicameral uh, system oh. means it has two houses. Two houses then? Uh, then uh, if Then, two houses are there. Are they? Ah, discuss. Yeah. We will uh, discuss with uh, both the houses. Ah, definitely. Two times, right? The discussions will get in for two times. Okay. Clear or not? So that's the correct one. Okay, correct answer there. Okay. Both houses will discuss that and they will take a good and fine decision. Okay. Eh? Good or fine decision. That is, the, that is the importance of a bicameral legislature, bicameral legislature. So India is following bicameral legislature. Number of states in India is following the same, the bicameral legislature, right? Numerous states in India following the bicameral legislature. So only single house, I mean, unicameral means basically, you know, that MLS, Kerala is an example for that, MLA, member of legislative assembly for the state legislature. Okay, member of legislative assembly. But in some states, sir, uh, MLS also are there and MLCs also are there. MLC. Clear. Clear. So we done Parishat and we done Sabha. We done Parishat and we done Sabha. Member of Legislative Assembly and Member of Legislative Council. Member of uh, Legislative Council. Two houses will be there. Right. Clear. MLCs are the representatives for Member of Legislative Council and MLS are the representatives in the Member of, sorry, uh, or they are basically termed as. Uh, Member of Legislative Assembly, MLS. Okay. They are the members of the Assembly. Clear? Okay. Council and Assembly. Council and Assembly. MLCs and MLS. Okay. So just keep that idea in your mind. But in India, we know that in the central level, Parliament is there. Both Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha, they are MPs, right? Member of the Parliament. Member of the Parliament. MP. Clear? Member of the Parliament. So keep that idea clear. So this is the basic difference between the bicameral legislature and the Unicameral legislature, the bicameral legislature and the unicameral legislature. Just give me one minute. Okay, so we got that. Chapter is very important for the examination, so please learn this things properly. So, the Parliament of India, two houses are there Lok Sabha, the Raj Sabha. So Lok Sabha is otherwise known as the House of the People and the Rajya Sabha is otherwise known as the House of the States. Okay, one more name is House of the Wise Men and House of the Commons. Clear? Rajya Sabha House of the Wise Men and House of, uh, Lok Sabha is House of the Commons. Clear? Yeah. Other name. Okay, so keep that idea in your mind. So two houses are there for the Indian Parliament. One is Lok Sabha, the other is uh, the Rajya Sabha. We can distinguish that with the color of the mat or carpet they are using. Okay, what the color of the carpet in uh, Lok Sabha? Green color. Oh, and Rajya Sabha? Uh, red color. Is that correct? Ever observe this sessions there? Uh, yes, in the news. Yes. News, okay. My Clear. colors are like this. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe intentionally or uh, basically, okay. Intentionally for making a distinction. I mean, very good difference or something like that. Okay, so back. Okay, next one. Next question. Why do we need two houses of parliament? Okay, so we are following a bicameral legislature, you know that. And what is the need, or why do we need two houses of uh, parliament? What is the importance? So, already one or two uh, uh, reasons we discussed. Okay, number of other reasons also are there here. You can observe here. Okay, the question is why do we need two houses of the parliament? Clear? First of all, India is following a bicameral legislature, as we know. Okay, so countries with a large size and much diversity usually prefer bicameral legislature. First point. Clear? What is the importance here? Tell me. Countries with the The size and much diversity you see prefer by. Okay. So, for example, India. It's a country. It's a vast country. Clear? Vast country. 
there are numerous geographical regions are there different groups of people are there okay diversity is there right i mean linguistic groups are there uh, religious groups are there clear different caste groups are there racial groups are there i mean ethnic groups are there okay so different groups are there or groups of people are there in the country so one single house is alone unable to manage the administration or the single house is unable to uh, share the power clear everyone want to enjoy the power right or not okay so number of uh, uh, representatives are necessary okay that related with the power share okay so one minute Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So come back. <clears throat> Next one. A bicameral legislature makes it possible to have every decision reconsidered, and this prevents hasty decisions. Clear? So uh, two times we already discussed that. Okay. They will debate or they will discuss for two times. Okay. That prevents hasty decisions, one-sided decisions, basically. Clear or not? okay so two times they will discuss so it will uh, avoid the problems of uh, uh, taking decision by group of people along okay clear or not so just keep that idea in your mind next one in a federation the second chamber at the council of states give representation to different states so the second chamber gives a uh, more importance for the states important important for the states there clear or not okay so in the federation the second chamber at the council of the states gives a representation to the different states okay so already we know that in india rajya sabha is considering as the what house of the states so yeah. it's basically giving giving representation for the states okay this one the senior and experienced persons can be accommodated through nomination or indirect elections okay so senior and experienced person can be accommodated in the upper house rajya sabha clear through what nominations okay or indirect elections indirect elections so already we know that this the, that house is known as the house of wise men clear or not so we need some skilled persons in that house clear skilled persons means they are able to give clear cut decisions or clear cut opinions clear understanding or not okay so if a problem that uh, we are facing in the country related with the health okay so we are unable to ask that kind of questions to a politician okay so we need a skilled professional a skilled doctor okay clear or not or we are unable to ask such questions to sports personalities clear okay not okay so we we need some kind of that kind of people in the uh, rajya sabha uh, trouble with the sports a sport events clear or not we need more medals in the olympics than the coming olympics so the discussion with a sport sport specialities clear or not sport stars not with a film star or a doctor clear or not understand we cannot discuss this kind of, kind of things with the film stars or a, a doctor or any other politicians there so skilled personalities are necessary okay clear so that's what two houses eminent persons from different areas can be included through nomination okay so the president has the power to do so right is yes or no okay he will nominate okay eminent person from different areas different uh, areas okay so skilled people from different areas maybe from the health uh, then what we can say sports film arts okay like that so different people will be there next one functions of the legislature so please read that what are the functions of the legislature of executive and ensuring its accord hmm that function okay presentation and uh, debating function hmm. so we discuss all these function the legislative function control the executive and ensuring its accountability financial functions the representation debating functions constitutional amendments 
electoral functions, judicial functions. Okay, so it's a three more questions. Okay, so sorry. Anyway, the same thing you want, right? It's very important for three more questions or something like that. Anyway, again, okay, these functions should be learned properly. What are the different functions of the legislature? So, repeating, only the legislative function, lawmaking procedure, right? Okay, next one. It is, or the legislature is able to control the executive, executive, financial functions, money bills, right? Okay, the decision related with the budget, the representation, okay, from different uh, areas, okay. Clear or not? The representatives, basically the MLAs or MPs from different uh, regions or different constitutions. Clear. Next one, debating function. Debate on the bill. Debate on the bill, I mean, related with the lawmaking procedure, right? Constitutional amendments. Okay, they are able to make changes in the constitution, existing rules and regulation. Electoral function to elect the president. Clear? The vice president. Understand? Clear or not? Okay. Then judges in the Supreme Court and the high courts. Judicial functions, like relative to the judges, clear, and making changes in the rules and regulations that are, are, uh, that are basically included in the constitution. So judicial functions related with the judges, appointment and uh, dismissal of judges, okay, like the various functions are there for the legislature. So you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, such functions are there. Eight such uh, functions are there for the, but, what? Ah, legislature. It's called the legislature. Legislative function is the first and foremost function. So please read and learn that. Quick. Check in your notes also whether all these points are there or not. Okay. First of all, powers of Lok Sabha. Powers of a Lok Sabha. Please check your notes there. Okay, so Sangam Jos, please read this. Uh, powers of Lok Sabha hmm. makes laws on matters included in union list and concurrent list, can introduce and enact money and non money bills. Okay, so it's the power of a, what? Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha. The ministers or the private members can introduce both money and non-money bill. Money and non-money bill. And they will make laws matters into the union list and the concurrent list. Okay. You know that what is the union list and the concurrent list, right? But not the state list, not the state lists. Next one. Approves proposals for taxation, budgets, mm -hmm. and a <clears throat> annual financial statements. Okay. Come on. That is only the power of the Lok Sabha, right or not? Or only the power of the Lok Sabha related with the money bill, taxation, budgets, and the financial statement related with the budget. Come on, next. Controls the executive by asking questions, supplementary questions, resolutions, and notions, and through motions. no confidence uh, motion, and uh -huh. through no confidence motion. Okay, so it is the power of the legislature, so basically the Lok Sabha, to control the executive. Control the executive. Okay, next. Amends the constitution. Done. Okay. Approves the proclamation of emergency. As we know that, right? It is the only power of the Lok Sabha to declare uh, the emergency. Okay. So only uh, with the sanction, the, they won't approve it. The power is with the prime minister and the president. Clear or not? Like the final decision with the president. Okay. Clear or not? But the Lok Sabha won't approve that. Then only the president can declare what? Emergency in some special cases. Okay, come on. Elects the president and vice president and removes judges of Supreme Court and High Court. Okay, so some electoral functions and judicial functions. Okay. Uh, establishes committees and commissions and considers the, their report. Okay, related with the lawmaking procedure, we know that, right? Committees are there, right? So only the law service the power to uh, appoint the committees. So please read and learn it. Okay, hope these ideas are clear for you people, right? Okay, so it's so a power of Lok Sabha, moving forward. Next one, power of Rajya Sabha, power of Rajya Sabha. Okay, Abhilash. Makes laws, oh, sorry. Considers and approves non-money bills and suggests amendments to money bills. 
approves constitutional amendments okay exercises control over executive by asking questions introducing motions and resolutions participates in the election and removal of the president mm -hmm. vice president judges of supreme court and high court it can it can alone initiate the procedure for removal of vice president yes can give the union, right. can, okay. give the union can alone power. initiate the procedure for removal of vice president okay this is special power of rajya sabha related to the vice president okay next can give the union parliament power to make laws on matters included in the state list okay so please read that one minute so if notes are with you okay so again rely on the notes there no problem if it is not so take a screenshot or you can write it later and anyway, today itself i will upload the notes in the same chapter in the class group okay so please download that and take a print out of the same and keep it you So one more time, I am using this opportunity to remind you the portion for the examination. What are they? It is freedom, right? Sorry, rights, development, and legislation. Right, rights, development, and legislation are the three chapters for the first time examination. Okay, please learn those chapters properly. Give adequate importance for all these three chapters. Okay. Okay, then the time to wind up the session. Thank you, everyone. We will meet in the next class at 4:30. We will continue the same. Okay. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.